Okay, in this video, I'm going to cover tech. Now, if we look on the map, you'll see I'm at home base in the Heartlands, and we're right next to the tech center, which looks like this on the map. I'm literally right next to it, so I'm just going to cruise over, pull up next to it, and hit E, and it will open up the tech tree. And you can see these various things, and you can scroll along here to, to view everything that's available or will become available. Now, when you start a new war, none of these will be researched yet. There are some basic things that you can manufacture, such as rifles, rifle ammo, uh, shirts, for example. And when it comes to vehicles, the transport, and with the release of the new motorboat, I believe you can craft it right off the spot as well. However, some things require you to research it first, and that's everything you see in this tree and you have to work sequentially from here on down through the tech tree. So bayonets, for example, is something that you will have to research for. And uh, indicating an info box here, you see a little symbol down there that indicates a research part. You need 75 of those in order to open up this particular item to be able to craft it in a factory. So the way you get research parts is by, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, research parts is by collecting technology parts and then refining them in the refinery as indicated in a previous video. So if we go down here, I cannot run into the pole. You'll see one of the options here is to turn tech parts into research parts. So that's how you get research parts. And it is a bit of a process and time consuming as well because you have to uh, basically you have to gather scrap using the small hammer, not the sledge hammer, because your focus is on tech in order to get the tech parts. So I'm going to do that now. So we have a couple for the uh, for the purposes of giving an example in this video and then we're going to time warp. And I realize a lot of this is a repeat of what I've already shown, but I'm doing this because some people may only be watching this vehicle and none of the uh, follow-up vehicles or videos. So in the last example video, I ended up getting two tech parts for 600 B or scrap gathered. In this case, uh, 510 scrap gathered and two tech parts this time. And actually, I'm going to put these in the vehicle. And now we're going to cruise up and we're going to convert these into research parts. For that, we hit the refinery. I'm going to go ahead and also convert all of the scrap over to B mats. And I have two, so I can simply left click here two times or I can right click here once to use all of them that I have. And you can see it's about 45 minutes for the two of them. You, my general rule of thumb is if it's if it's under a minute I'll oftentimes just sit here and wait for whatever it is I'm refining to be ready. If it's over a minute I'll usually back up and get out of the way. There aren't too many people on using uh, the home base right now though. I'm going to go ahead and wait. Put a couple of these in here in case somebody else needs them. Nine seconds left for the research parts. And then once they're complete, you just left click to pull them. Now the tech parts don't stack, but the research parts do stack. So now we're just going to cruise right up here to the tech center and put them to good use. And I'm a little, I'm a little leery to, um, show how far we are in the tech tree. I think for the most part the enemy can usually figure it out rather well but there may be some holes some things we skipped and I don't want them to see that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the section I want to show you and pause it and uh, or I'm going to pause it to get there first and then I'm going to maybe wait a couple of days just because I can see people being upset with me for sharing this little bit of intel with the enemy. Okay, and here is the part of the tech tree that I'm comfortable showing right now. I, I think that the enemy pretty much knows that we have all of this stuff anyway. 
Um, so here's one that people have been working on, the smoke grenade. As you can see, it requires 300 research parts, and 106 so far have been applied. Now, same deal, if I left click, then I'll apply one research part at a time. And if I right click, it would be all that I had in my inventory at the same time. So now we're at 108 out of 300. So we only have to do that a couple hundred more times, and then we can use then we can uh, manufacture smoke grenades. So that's how the tech center works. Um, it's also used for creating blueprints. Uh, I actually demonstrate this in a previous video, how to uh, craft blueprints for a vehicle. So you can check that out. It's also going to be in this playlist. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same process. Some items do require that you have a blueprint before you can uh, craft them. Uh, vehicles, for example. Um, I don't think I'll do a dedicated video just for that, though. Because once you know how to do blueprints for vehicles, then you pretty much know how to do blueprints for everything. And that's it. So, a quick summary. Uh, you gather scrap using a hammer for a random chance to get tech parts. You then take the tech parts to the refinery to convert them into research parts. You then take the research parts to the tech center and apply them to the technology that everybody else is working on or that you specifically want to work on. Once you have unlocked research for a specific item, then you can go to the factory and you can manufacture that item. Uh, the area of contention for this particular topic is that not everyone agrees on what next technology is most important. So sometimes you'll see technology research parts being split among several um, uh, tech all at the same time. Uh, usually what I do is rather than have a long drawn out discussion, I usually just try to look to see which of the current technologies being researched has the most points or is closest to being completed. And then I'll usually just toss the tech into there. If you're not sure, then you can always just put your tech parts into the base over here or even in the inventory over here or pretty much anywhere around here and someone else will find it and then they can decide how best to use it. Okay, so I think that will be, or this will be the uh, final video I'm going to be doing for this weekend. I'll probably upload it either Monday or Tuesday. I still like to wait a couple days, even though I try to be careful about giving away too much map intel, just to be on the safe side. I'm also going to toss up a couple of uh, videos that I just thought were funny, just random moments in Foxhole. Uh, they're no longer than about three minutes that because that's what I have my video clip set to at this point they however will not be on this playlist since this is specifically for boot camp but uh, if you're interested you can check out those videos those other videos on my channel